me. Oh no. Oh no. No. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, no, he's coming back. Hey guys, it's MC here, and welcome back to another episode of Scoutcraft. Now, uh, just, you can kind of see what I've been doing over in that corner there. But yeah, since last episode, as you can see, not a lot of happened in here. I still don't have a storeroom. Uh, I did update the floor though, so I was thinking maybe going with this kind of like pattern here instead of this one here. Uh, now I don't really know. I might end up going with this because it's a bit cheaper. Now, uh, oh, there goes Odd Man. But yeah, in between, I actually have been doing a bit of bartering and I now have enough to make a respawn anchor. So let's, let's, let's do this. I'm honestly ready. Oh, there it is. And I even have this little hole set up. Bang like that. Uh, I think I have some more glowstone over here. Nope, I don't. I think I create all of it into that. So I don't know how much it actually takes. So one. And there we go. I now have a respawn anchor. Do I have to set it as well? There we are. Respawn, sorry. respawn point set. There we are. Look at me actually making it somewhere in this world. So, as you can see, that's done. And the bridge is done. So, honestly, I'm just going to go run into the... Thank you, duty. Uh, I'm quickly just going to go run into the time lapses and I'll be back in a second.
Oh no. Oh no. No. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, no, he's coming back. Um. Don't like hoglins. Ah, no, that's one heart. That's a heart. That's a single heart. Um. I'm going to stand here. Okay, yeah, as you can see from the time lapse, obviously it's not done yet because it still needs scaffolding taken down and everything. But here's the bridge. I'm just scared of him. There's a ghast up there. Yeah, as you can see from the time lapse, there's the bridge there. It still needs texturing and, you know, stuff like that. And then here's the house. Here's where the new hoglin farm's going to be going. I hope he doesn't pop up here. Yeah, here's the front of the toll house kind of thing in front of the bridge. So we've let London pass here, which everyone can go through and then cross the bridge over into the mycelium biome. Over this part is just going to be the entirety of just the hoglin farm, which is going to get moved today. The rest of the house itself needs a bit of retexturing. It needs a bit of touching up, which I'm probably going to do in between episodes. Or I'm going to get a, get a time that's the beginning of the next episode, which is literally just me going to be texturing this and this. But also the air around it, so I'm thinking maybe the gravel path kind of running through the middle here. Same at that end. And then under here, bits of mycelium and other... Ah! Wow! Wow! Oh yeah, I can use that now! See? Yay! So now, before I end the episode, I'm going to need to get all of these guys across and up and into that bit there. Well, actually, no, it's this bit up here. Hang on, let me just go hop into the house. So if I hop up here, I need to get them all into here. I Hopefully, I can remove that block and they can stand on the middle one. I'm not sure yet. So what I'm going to do is actually come down here and do a little test. Now, obviously, some of you already know this because I'm a, kind of a big thing when it comes to my company. If I destroy this... Can they pull through? I'll take that as a no. Because none of them have fallen through. Okay, that makes life easier. So if I come back here, it means I could destroy the outside blocks. These ones here. And it means that just when I breed them, none of them get caught here. So now I just need some... This is going to be so painful to get this done. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. I'm really not looking forward to this at all. Okay, so I just need to build a kind of like a ramp from there up to here. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be back. Okay, so there's a ghast somewhere, but the plan is if I break this, they can then hop up here, I can then run from here over to here, and they should fall down into there. If for whatever reason I miss this jump, I should be able to fall through there and mine my way out through that hole. And not die. I'm actually going to go put my valuable stuff in a box quickly. Let's go. Okay. Yup. Ah, ow. Okay, this is actually going a lot better than I thought. Ow. I'm just going to go around and do this. I don't think they can come back. Unless I put it one block too high. Oh no! That's close. That's way too close for comfort. I have one less stew left. They can get way too close to me. Yeah, if they hit me off here, I'm actually going to die. I think 
think that's the farm cleared out now, actually. Is that all of them? Yeah. I don't think they can come back either. No, they can't hop out. So what I do now is like... Okay, I can't get too close. Okay, they're trying, but they can't. Okay. So if I now, in theory, go hop over here and grab those bricks again, I can now just solidify them back in. Yeah, destroyed some of them. Yeah, this actually went a lot more peaceful than I thought it would go. I thought this would be me screaming a lot more, but here I am. Okay, so I just need to come back here. Box some blocks here. Box some blocks in here. And that's that done. I'm going to clear this up and come back. Um. That one better than I thought it would. Um, good soup. So yeah, just hopped into. So, so, sorry, just just ran into Duty Boy. Had a quick chat with him while he's just streaming. So let's just see if this spawner actually. Okay, it seems I can't quite get them. Ah! I mean, I have to believe that out. Okay, after dying about four times, I figured out how to do it. I've done it. I just, I'm just going to use their feet, and feed them at their feet, and there we have a couple of children drop down. Just two though. For some reason, it took me seven of them to get two of them, so it's not very efficient, but it works. Also, thank you to Duty Boy Stream for consolidating me after my death. They sent their condolences. Thank you guys. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to feed them through here. I'm going to get a little sign that says don't feed the piglins or hoglins, I should say. Oh, gilded blackstone noise. Yeah. Just talking about cracked blackstone, which I've never heard of, really enough. Yeah, I think that's going to wrap up for this one. So, guys, don't forget to, you know, you know, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll uh, see you in the next episode. Bye.